Okay everyone, welcome back again to another Foxtech video. This time we talk about the keyboard on the iPad and how you can turn off the mini keyboard, which is something that could have happened to you. Right now I'm connected to the uh, actual Apple Magic keyboard, so right now when I go and type something in, the keyboard doesn't pop up because I have the physical one. But if I, let's say, detach the iPad like this and come in here, tap on the search bar or click on show keyboard, it's going to get in here. And the thing is, the, the reason why I'm making this video is so you know what to do in case you get the mini keyboard. So if you have like this one, you can pinch on it like this and you have this sort of mini looking one, which you can uh, like drag around and everything. And in case you have this keyboard and you don't like it, you want to come back to the original state, you have to just reverse the gesture and that is to pinch out on it. And it's just going to come back to the original size. So it's really not that simple to like, quote, turn it off. And the second option, if you don't like gestures, is to hold down on this button in the lower right corner. So you can hold down on this and it can switch over to the floating. And if you have the floating, you can hold down on this icon. At least I hope you should be, or it's probably the globe. And you can switch to like different languages, but if you have this mini one, I don't believe that, yeah, you, you cannot really switch it. You can only just use the gesture to pinch out and get back to the original one. So this is how it works. If the question is how you can turn it off completely so your iPad it doesn't even do this when you perform the pinch and gesture, well, there isn't the option to literally just use the, use the keyboard like this. Just make sure you don't um, pinch in on it, otherwise you will end up with this mini one. So this is how it works. This is everything what I wanted to show you in this video. If you found it useful, hit the thumbs up. But before you leave, I need to show you the Foxtech educational platform, which you can go ahead and join for free. It's going to be linked below in the description. And there is, as of right now, like 120 people. Uh, yeah, chances are I will make it a paid community in the future. As of right now, it's completely free. But yeah, I have a couple of courses and stuff you can watch for free. For example, a full course on the Adobe Rush for the iPad. So yeah, definitely go ahead and join right now. And I will catch you inside of the community. Peace out until then.